displacement occurred exactly 120 a.m. at zero seconds. Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty, I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And precisely, 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him at the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal... Look out! <laughs>Good morning, Playmobil fans. Welcome back to the future. <laughs> you see what I did there with the, um, yeah. Okay, so basically 2020 was quite a dumpster fire of a year, and the only really good thing to come out of it was this set. This is set 70317, produced by Playmobil, and it has this sort of tenor quality of toy. It's just a high-quality toy uh, at kind of a reasonable price. You know, you get all these really cool features that come with a toy just kind of just because you know it's kind of the like kind of an in-between of a collector's toy and a legitimate toy i can see somebody buying this for a child and then you know them just loving the hell out of it and then i can also see a collector <clears throat> putting it up on their shelves and just really enjoying it um but yeah so i'm in the latter category i didn't really intend to do a review on this uh but i was really compelled by the the craftsmanship and the quality of the toy that I just felt compelled to do a legit review on this. No real, you know, uh, jokes or gags beyond the first couple of minutes here. Um, but yeah, legit review. So anyway, uh, you may have also noticed the fact that it has these really cool blue lights going all over it. And that is one of the other functioning cool effects that Playmobil didn't have to include to, the, to this set. But they did, just because they're cool guys and they just wanted to see the whole thing light up. Uh, now, I know it probably won't look too good on the camera here, so I might have to do a little jump cut afterwards to uh, show it in the dark. Um, but yeah, so the first mode is kind of a blinky, blinky little light. I can kind of imagine them uh, pulsating up to the charge to go back in time. And then here we go. It's a full solid color, and it'll eventually dissipate if I don't hit the button, which I will now. Um, so yeah, the first one is blinky, and if I wanted to, I can click it again, and it'll go to the solid and then once more for off. So that's a really cool effect. Wish it had some sound effects, but I know that's uh, a little more cost and I'm really just appreciative with what what else is in this set. Uh, not only do you have the blue lights up there, you also have, uh, I assume this is the camera. This, uh, this whole set is kind of reminiscent of the very first time travel scene, um, which uh, you all may be familiar with. The, you built a time machine out of a DeLorean scene uh, but yes, the back here, you can stick in a little cores of plutonium into the, I guess that's the time hole. Um, stick it on, on in there, and um, <laughs> you're out of time, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it, it's a very cool little set. The doors totally open up, of course, why wouldn't they? Uh, they have the flux capacitor in the back there, and of course, with it lit up, that lights up as well. There it is. There we go. I'll have to, there we go. You can see it on through the windshield. And that's a really cool effect. At, in, in dark places, it just really lights up. And of course, you know, what set is complete without minifigures, or in this case, clicky figures? Uh, of course, it comes with Einstein, everyone's favorite little unforgettable dog. Um, I, I hardly remembered him at first, but then I realized, oh yeah, that's right. He was in that scene. So good on them that they they made a, a little a little dog for us that's that's nice uh and also we have marty mcfly oh gee gee doc i don't know why am i out here in a parking lot with a camera is this this is weird man I kind of sound like shaggy there at first okay uh you have marty and of course you have doc brown with all of his cool little uh little details here he has a 
double wrist watches and uh, his little, uh, I don't know, time travel remote control gizmo thingy. Uh, another little stopwatch and his tools. Just, I love all the little details that this set had, uh, including the, the radioactive symbol. That's really neat. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's all well and good. And Playmobil could stop right there. That's legitimately a good set right there. That's uh, all they really needed to add, but they also included a cool little box. It says radioactive all over it. Plutonium, handle with care. I just love that little cheesiness there as if, you know, you really have to tell people to handle plutonium with care. Um, nothing on the bottom, but on the inside, have a couple spare cores and that's a nice thing to do, you know, just in case I don't know. Somebody swallows it. Oh, heaven forbid. I mean, somebody loses it. <clears throat> uh, you have a couple extra right here. That's nice. As well as a little skateboard for Marty. There we go. Here's Christmas for you, Marty. There we go. And I really like this kind of effect. You can actually have them do little tricks. Did not expect uh, skateboard, Playmobil skateboards to be so much, so enjoyable. You know, that's fun. Uh, and also, we have... The lightning rod thing that goes in the back here. Oh, I'm going to move everybody. It goes on in the back in this little hole back here, and it catches onto um, that uh, clock tower thing. Uh, very movie accurate. I really enjoy it. Um, again, it's kind of a funny little thing to include, but it is part of the movie, and I can only imagine. I don't know, if this was Lego, they would probably have a million uh, different uses for this thing afterwards. But yeah, so um, that's that's a really fun set. I really enjoy this whole whole thing and all of the fun little little scenarios. And you can have playing with Marty here, getting him to go inside the, the uh, time machine. Here we go. Let's try to wedge him in there just so we can see what it looks like with the character inside while it lights up. There were nice, satisfying click there with the doors. I liked that. So there we go. It's a little darker inside with the doors closed, but with the light going on, boom, there we go. The flux capacitors fluxing and all kinds of stuff. And it's just a really satisfying uh, effect, you know? And really, that set, that could have, uh, they could have just ended it right there. But they kept going. They kept adding cool things to the set. Why, what's the best, next best thing about the DeLorean? besides the fact that it can just travel through time, is the fact that it can fly through time, too. So this set actually has a conversion ability. By pressing a simple little button underneath each tire, uh, next to the rim, the tires fully can rotate. <clears throat> a little difficult from this angle, of course. Through a viewfinder. It can actually function as the flying DeLorean from, I think, the second one? I'm not sure if the flying one was in the very first movie, but I could be, I could be wrong. It's been years since I've actually seen the movie. Oh, I know, blasphemy uh, from a few a few uh, viewers out there. But uh, that aside, those are all the really good points about this set. The bad points are, uh, I know there are bad points of this set, is the fact that the light button is actually underneath the car. I would have preferred to have something up on top. That would have been cool. Maybe the lightning rod, you know, press that button, you the lightning rod button, and it, uh, it lights up. That would have been a cool little effect. Uh, the second one is the fact that this scene, as per based on the fact that uh, we have Doc with his remote control doodad here and Marty with his camera, this is suggesting that this is the very first time that Doc Brown ever traveled through time, which means that he used Einstein as a test companion. So it would be reasonable to say that he would be able to fit in the DeLorean, right? Yeah, it would, right? Unfortunately, he doesn't really. His, I'm, I'm trying my best here. Let's see, Let's tuck his tail in, tuck his head in, stick him in like, that doesn't seem very comfortable. Um, maybe like, like that. Oh, there we go, there we go. I may be correct, stand corrected. Oh, there we go, a little better. That's a little better. Uh, all, all my previous testings, I could not shove them in there far enough, but it just still looks a little awkward, right? That's my that's my beefy. It, it, he doesn't look like he's really enjoying it in there. I mean, Marty sure is, but, but Einstein, oh man, he just wants to be out and 
that must be that must be crazy for a dog not to be able to stick his head out a window and you know because there's a time flux going on outside that'd be too weird right um but yeah it's a it's a very good set i enjoy it and i definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to feel that little ping of nostalgia after seeing this because you know, legitimately the 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 gloss of the plastic and the sheen on on the glass and everything you'd be you'd be admiss to to say that this isn't some sort of diecast toy you know from a shelf from a far away you might be you might be mistake uh, mistake that save for the fact that you have a playmobil marty flying it i just love that the the sort of comical disbelief between or disconnect between the semi-realistic uh, vehicle and then the totally unrealistic characters. That's just a fun dichotomy, I believe. Um, it's very, very interesting. Uh, it's, it's, it could be a cool comedic device if they choose to use that in the future, but uh, I'm getting really uh, ahead of myself, maybe. Uh, but yeah, so a fun little set. Uh, I may do a few more reviews of just off the wall toys and whatnot. Um, and if you like to, uh, if you like to uh, see what I have in store, uh, please stick around. And yeah, um, until then, I will s see you next time. Bye. <laughs>